What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally here in the Pokemon League, and I did a little bit of training. As you guys can see, my Pokemon are nice and well equipped. They're ready to go. They are trained. And a good thing about Poseidon was that, you know, it learned an even more powerful move, and that was Drill Peck. Obviously, I gave a few TMs to some of the Pokemon right here, some much-needed ones like Avalanche, Flash Cannon, and, uh, well, let's see, Toothless right here. I gave it Rock uh, rock Slide just because, well, I have a feeling that we're going to have some, like, avian Pokemon around here. Rosemon right here. I was going to give it Poison Jab, but then I was like, nah, it's not much of an attacker. It's more of a special attacker, so why not give it the Poison Sludge and all that crud, or the Sludge Bomb, and then Togepri. I did teach it... Aurora, let's see, Aurora Sphere off the hard scale that I found recently, and then I gave it Shadow Ball just in case, because, yeah, we're gonna be going up against quite a few trainers, and uh, yeah, I am not really, uh, like, I'm really not looking to towards this, okay? So, like I said in our last episode, yes, it's gonna be two and two episodes, and then the final episode will be, not the final episode, but the, you know, the, 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 the championship battle will be on Friday, I mean, just yeah, we're, just, we're just, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna be battling Cynthia. I really have no much, no more words to say except let's just go, let's do this. And right before we do anything, oh my God, Bear is here. He's like, hold it, don't go off without me. You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with the battle. So before we even battle the Pokemon League, this dope is here. And we are taking on Pokemon Trainer Barry. Of course, he's going to be coming out with his, uh, you know, Stir Raptor. So, let's go straight for Electro Star using his Intimidate. That's right. And, uh, well, they both have Intimidate. So, let's go straight for a Thunderbolt attack. Just like that, we beat him. And here comes Torterra. So, let's go with Togepri right here. And go with a Flamethrower attack. And, well, there comes that Leaf Storm. Lowers his attack right there. And, well, Shell Bell goes. And, uh, yes, we're getting some more experience points. Now, he's going to be coming out with a Float Cell, so let's go straight for a Rosemon and see what happens. Going to kick his butt. That's basically what we're going to do. So, here's Rosemon and Float Cell, how's it going? You are speedy, but guess what? We're going to go with a Giga Drain because I know you're going to be doing this. An Ice Fang attack. And, uh, well, that right there is going to take a huge chunk out of our HP. Yes, you are poisoned, my friend. And because of that, we're going to go with a Giga Drain for the win. And, well, come on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. That is right. It is a critical hit. And most of our HP has gone back. Yes. That's right. We defeated you, Barry. Well, not really. Not yet. But here comes Rapidash. Let's go straight to our good old buddy Poseidon right here. And, uh, well, Poseidon, how's it going? You're looking pretty nifty right here. Level 54. It was a you-know-what to train you. And we're going to be going straight for a Surf Attack, but look at this. We're, we're, we're slow. So that Fire Blast Attack is just going to mess with us. And because of the Surf, yes, we win. How's it feel to fail? Now, I guess the speed of the game right here. This is the reason why I speed it up sometimes, guys, because it's just it's ridiculous. So we're going to be going up against Heracross. Let's go with Togepri. Togepri, go with a Fly Attack. And just like that, for the win... We get some more HP. And, well, here comes Snorlax. Let's go straight for Gaia. Now, off screen two. Gaia learned close combat, and I did have two PP ups. That way, I can actually, you know, increase the amount of PP on that PP up or the the, the move just because, well, yeah, it only came with what you might call it, uh, 5 a PP. It's a very, very strong move. And, well, look at this close combat for the win. And Snorlax has been defeated. That's right. And well, because of this, our defense falls. It falls greatly. So, yeah, that's something that we have to worry about. We just went down. I still need some raising. Yeah, his team still needs some raising. Okay, so he's going to be like, I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League. If I'm losing to you, darn it. You watch, though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League because I'm going to become the champion, the toughest trainer. Draven. You better not lose to anyone before me. Yeah, I'm flipping you off, homeboy. So, anywho, I am going to heal up my Pokemon, and 
we're gonna go straight to the Pokemon League. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and well, let's go right ahead and talk to this lady. And she's like, let, let me confirm that you are qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. So let us examine these gym badges you gather from Zinnoh. Orberg, uh, Orberg City Cold Badge, the Forest Badge, the Relic Badge, the Cobble Badge, hey, look at this, the Fen Badge, Mime Badge, the Icicle Badge, and oh, look at this, Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. There it is, the theme song is here. What now? And well, very well. Trainer, you've indeed collected all gym badges from Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that brought you here and go for glory. Whatever you say, homegirl. Or boy, I don't even know. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're going to be going into the Pokemon League and, uh, well, an unexpected three battles. That's pretty cool, guys. Okay, so who's first? This guy right here. And it looks like to me he's going to be having himself some bug Pokemon. So let's go with Togepi. Let's do this. Bring it on. Hello! Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. You, I mean, it's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on or I take take on challengers here? It's because I want to become the perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Okay. Alrighty. So here it is, guys. Our first battle in the Pokemon League, and it's against Elite Four Aaron. He is a bug type trainer, and we are going to be seeing some new Pokemon like Yamega. Yamega was introduced here in Generation 4 because, you know, I guess Yama needed an evolution. And some of you guys have been saying that, you know, y Yama needs the dragon and bug type, uh, like, you know, typing. It never happened. Kind of sucks. Could have been the first one, but there it is, guys. Flamethrower for the win. And, yes, we get some more experience points. And Togepi. Gaining level like crazy. Look at that. Okay. So here comes Drapion. And if I remember correctly, Drapion is that Pokemon. So I kind of want to just destroy it. I want to just like smash it to smithereens. So here we go. Toothless. Let's go. What's up, Drapion? Looking all nasty and everything. Let's go straight for a Rock Slide attack right here. And the good thing about Rock Slide, it does help, help us out with the flinching. And... Yep, it flinched. Okay, let's go with Earthquake Attack. Alrighty. Yeah, that's right. You take that. Oh, yes. And just like that, Drapion has been defeated. I feel great. Okay, so here comes Heracross. And, uh, well, we're going to be going straight back to Togepi. Anywho. What is next in the adventure of good old Draven? Um, really nothing. It's just, uh, after this, you guys already know, we're gonna be going into the next section of our adventure, which is, I guess, another island. Bunch of other stuff, Team, Team Galactic and all that. I'm, I'm kind of hoping to finishing this up in, like, 40, what, 45 episodes? 45? 45 tops, and, oh my god, Stone Edge hitting us. That move is always, you know, this, this, this move is always messed up, and, well... Heracross has been healed, so we're going to be doing another flamethrower. Now, even when we fly, guys, you guys got to understand that Stone Edge will hit you. So, yeah. Keep an eye out for that. So, like I was saying, guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this whole walkthrough done by 45, maybe 50 episodes. That way, you know, it's... That way we get into the next walkthrough, which would have to be Pokemon White 2, which, you know, has been paused for just a little bit. And, well, here you go. Fly attack for the win. And just like that, Heracross has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right. Okay, so look at this. We're getting some points. That's right. Togepi healing up and everything. And, well, here comes Vespiqueen. We already know that this Pokemon has pressure as its ability. That means that no matter how many times you use your move, it will take double of that. So... We're going to lose 2 PP onto this flamethrower attack, and hopefully it does defeat Vespiqueen. And, well, let's see. That actually adds another page to our, piece, or our Pokedex, because we didn't really get this guy. Or gal. Sorry for those who, you know, I misgendered. And, well, look at this. Defend Order. That right there increases its defense by a lot. It's both its defenses. So here we go. Another flamethrower attack for the win. Yeah, we're gonna burn all these bees to the ground, and just like that, Vespa Queen has been defeated. Or is it Vespa Quinn? 
Vespa Queen. Vespa Queen? Vespa I don't even know, guys. Whatever Nazis, whatever. And, well, Togepi is gaining some points, and here comes Sizor. And this Pokemon is a quadruple damage. Look at this guy. Level 49. He's about to go down. Let's go. Flamethrower attack for the win. That's right. Take four times the damage. See ya, Sizor. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So, look at that. We're getting some more points. And, yes, Togepi is getting a little bit more of its HP back, and just like that, Togepi almost gets to level 55. As you guys can see, Homeboy has conceded defeat, and he's giving us a long speech about how Bug-type Pokemon are perfect, but he is not. And lost with the most beautiful and toughest of the Bug Pokemon. We lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's, he let, let's hear it from me. No, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three trainers are waiting for you. They're all tougher than me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anybody is tougher than any bug type trainer. Trainer, I'm just saying. Anywho, let's see. Who's next? Who is next? And it is a ground type trainer, I believe. So what we're gonna do right here is gonna we're gonna go with Poseidon. And well, let's see what she's all about. Well, well, well. You're quite the adorable trainer, but you also got got a spine. <laughs> I'm Bertha. I have a preference to or for ground type Pokemon. Well. Would you show this old lady how much you've learned? Well, whatever you say, homegirl. So here we have Big Bertha, I mean Bertha herself, and she is a ground type trainer. Now, I do have a bit of a weakness towards that because, of course, Poseidon is also a steel type Pokemon. So, what's going to happen right here is we're going to have to switch out our Pokemon to Rosemon. And that Earth Power doesn't do much, but here's quadruple damage. Because of the Giga Drain. Alrighty. Giga Drain. Mm hmm. Come on, give me all my HP back. And just like that. Say goodbye to Whiskash. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so you are drained of everything. And, well, Rosemond getting some more points. And, well, here comes Gliscor. This is another Pokemon that's been introduced into this, uh, into this whole, uh, you know, realm of Pokemon. Into this generation, as I say. And. I think the way you can actually evolve a Gligor into a Gliscor is by a held item. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So, here comes Earthquake Attack. Of course, we're getting hit really hard. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Hippo... Oh, wow. A Hippodon. Hippodon. A Hippodon. And hopefully we are faster than this Pokemon. It is using Sandstream. It won't affect Poseidon because it is also a Steel-type Pokemon. And, well... Here comes the Surf Attack yet again. Hippowdown, you have been defeated. Alrighty, Poseidon, kick it some butt, take it some names, look at that, okay. Alrighty. And just like that, Poseidon grows to level 55, or, or yeah, it does. And the Sandstorm has raged, and here comes Golem. So here's another Pokemon that we've needed onto our Pokedex. And... I don't know. I think by the end of this whole walkthrough right here, or by the end of this whole uh, challenge, we will have filled most of the, well, the initial Sinnoh page right here. So hopefully that, that actually happens, or yeah, hopefully I, have, I, I haven't missed out on any Pokemon right here. So the Sandstorm has raged again, and here comes Rhyperior. This Pokemon, as many of you guys already know, has been introduced as the evolutionary Pokemon for our good old buddy Rhydon. Yes, Rhydon. And... Well, here comes the Surf Attack just to beat this Pokemon down. Come on, finish it. Finish it. And it is there. Rhyperior. That's right, we have defeated you. And we get some more experience points. And Big Bertha herself has been defeated. Yes. Alrighty, okay. Alright. Anywho, you're quite something, youngster. I like how you and your Pokemon earned the win by working as one. That's what makes you strong. <laughs> I think you can go as far as you uh, you want. Thank you. Anywho, like I said, first two episodes, or, you know, these next, well, this episode and the next one, it's going to be just two battles. We got surprised by, you know, our good old not-so-buddy, uh, what's-his-face, Barry. So, I will see you guys in the next episode as we face the next two trainers of the Elite Four. Thank you guys again for being supportive and everything. I'll see you guys next time.